To make your flax images more appealing, I'll show a text-to-image process focusing on the simplest upscale method to further improve your flax image generations, add extra details, and spare you several hours for rendering, all at the same time even on a low-end GPU. To demonstrate this, open up Comfy UI. I'll load a workflow from my previous video using Flux and ControlNet and I have explained a step-by-step -step process for creating this workflow, installing all the custom nodes as well as the necessary models required. So you can watch my previous video after this to get a good breakdown. So I'll drag and drop an image in here into the load image node for the ControlNet group. I'll zoom out here. For the preprocessor, I'm using Depth Anything from the list here, uh, which is V2. Also, I'll leave the resolution here, which is at 512. For the load flux control net node, I'll leave this at flux dev. Then down here, the control net model will be the flux depth V3 model from X Labs. We go to the right is the apply flux control net. This is all the way down to 0.5, which will give the flux model more creative freedom so it's not too restricted to the control net reference. Let's see what we get from the reference image by using the preview node. I'll zoom out here before that, right click, then I'll bypass the text to image group down here. Uh, from here, we can go for the Q prompt up here to see what we get. All right, good results from the depth model. I like it. So let's go ahead to put in a positive prompt. And down here, I'll right click again to make the text to image group active. I'm using the GGUF model here as the checkpoint. This will help us to speed up the flux processing time and still get some amazing results. Then I'm also using the dual clip loader here set to FP8 for low VRAM, clip underscore L and the type set to flux. So let's go ahead and I'll type in a positive prompt here of a tree growing in reverse into a lotus position, which will then be guided by the control net. I have the image size here as 512 by 768. Also the batch size is four. Then we will upscale the low quality to a 4K resolution. I'll zoom out here, keeping everything else at default and let's queue prompts to view the outcome. All right, all is done here and let's scroll up to check out the results. These are all incredibly awesome. I love the control net influence and the flux creative freedom from the depth model. All the four variations are looking good. So my pick will be to go for this one here. I'll zoom in here from my selection and we can see that the resolution of the image is very noisy and almost pixelated. We are losing some details when the image is very close by zooming in. So let's take this to a 4K resolution by keeping the same workflow we have using Flask. So I'll zoom out of here and to do this, we need to install the right node. So first go to the manager, Click on custom nodes. I'll use the search box here and type ultimate. The extension will appear here as the ultimate SD upscale. I already have mine installed, so click to install this if you don't have it yet. Once this is done, we also need to download the upscale models. I'll close down here, go to the model manager. In here, we already have a few upscale models from the list here. I'll go ahead to install the model 4X Ultra Sharp. However, you guys can still download any extra ones you may prefer. Once the installation is done, you need to refresh your server. I'll come down here and close. Also click on update all to modify your custom nodes. I'll click close here and back to the workflow. I'll right click here to add a node, go to image, then go to upscaling, go for this here, which is the ultimate SD upscale node. So let's connect this to the workflow to improve the low quality images. First drag the VAE, which goes into the input image part of the SD node. I'll drag this to be a bit closer. Then the model node goes into the model here. Next, the positive prompt goes into the positive as well. Then the negative prompt into the negative. The VAE for flux also goes into the VAE here. So this is as easy as that. We have almost everything connected. Next, drag the upscale port out, then select the load upscale model node. I'll drag this down here and select the model we installed earlier, which is the 4X Ultra Sharp. Let's put in the right settings to get the best result using the SD upscale node. 
I'll upscale the images by two, so I'll leave this here at two. Use the same seed you have as the sampler node. So mine will be 80 here as well. Then I'll keep this at fixed. I'll keep the steps at 20, similar to what I have in the sampler node. The CFG here is very important, so keep this very low at one to avoid any drastic changes from the original image. The denoise here is 0.2, which is low, so I'll leave it at that. For the width, will be 512 and for the height I'll change it to 768. Make sure to keep and match the same width and height from the empty latent image node as the original image. I'll set the denoise here to go even lower to 0.3. Everything else will be okay. I'll zoom out of here then drag this out and I'll select the save image node. I'll make the node a lot bigger here and we are ready to see the upscale version using the ultimate SD upscale node. So I'll go ahead up here and I'll use the Q prompt. All right, so this is all done and we have all four images upscaled here. The images are all similar as we can see, which is what we want from the ultimate upscale node. So I'll go for my selection, which is this one once again, and make sure you input the right settings to avoid any major changes. I still wanna push this a bit further. So let's compare the details and the resolutions of the low images to see the improvements from the ultimate upscale node. I'll zoom in here, then I'll right click to add a node, come here to RG3, then down here to image compare. This will create a node for us. If you don't have this node, go to Comfy UI Manager once again, use the Custom Nodes Manager up here in the search tab, type in RG3, install the custom node here, then close it once it's done, be patient for the installation. Go back to Comfy UI and you should find this after you refresh the server in your custom notes list. I'll go ahead to connect the low batch size image to image A of the node. Then I'll connect from the upscale node as well to image B of the same node. This will allow us to see both of the images once this is done. Then I'll go to the Q prompt and let's compare the upscale resolutions once this is all done. Okay, so this is all done and I'll zoom in here for us to compare the results. I'll select the main image I was using since we are using a batch size of four images. So make sure if you select A1, you match it to B1 to compare both the upscaled and the low detailed images. For my selection, I'll go for A3 and B3 here to compare the results. By sliding on the image from the left to right, we can see how much detail we have recovered by using the ultimate upscaler to further improve the image from almost pixelated to a 4K detailed enhancement. We can also notice all these extra details that were all lost because of the low quality resolution. Additionally, we can also check the image sizes. So I'll zoom out here, uh, I'll right click on this and select open image, which opens up a new tab for the upscaled image. Back to Comfy UI, I'll do the same here and click open image. From the browser tab, we can check the size of each image. So we have the original at 512 by 768. And for the 4K resolution, this has been upscaled by two, which is now 1024 by 1536. So I'll close both of the tabs here. Back in Comfy UI, you can also use the terminal to do the same thing. This will even provide you with more details of the image sizes, as well as the processing time for how long it took everything to be completed. So I've gone ahead to experiment even more with different themes and prompts to check out the upscale results using this node. And you guys can explore more with various upscale models as well as the settings of the ultimate upscale node to see what you come up with. I have my interface modified to the top of my browser to get more working space. And if you were curious the whole time and you want to do this, make sure you have updated Comfy UI. Click on the settings here. Click Comfy on the left, make sure it's selected. Scroll down to see the menu down here. Then you can change this from disabled as the default to top. This is still in a beta version, so I'm sure there will be more improvement as time carries on. Remember to leave a like as always, and you can still go ahead to learn how to create this workflow by using Flux and ControlNet to modify your general prompt into something amazing, which I have explained in this video on your screen.